Hello there. It's been a while since the last time I streamed. Hope all of you are doing well. I can see Sienna Torres. Welcome. And also I love trading 55. You gotta go. Well, it was a short time, but wish you a nice day. So, as I mentioned before, we are going to art school, which is a weird game that, well, you probably guessed it, involves drawing and art and stuff. It's very weird. You're gonna see why. Uh, but yeah, as I said, it's been a while since I pretty much did anything on YouTube. Uh, had to take a longer break if you have gotten the news, so probably know why. But slowly but surely I'm getting back into it. Well then, so I don't exactly know, know what to expect from this stream and how it's gonna go. Uh, as I said, it's, this game is pretty weird. I watched a couple of people stream it on Twitch and it seemed interesting and it's going, going to be interesting in terms of like what kind of ideas I will come up with, I have no idea. Uh, so, yeah. Well, I'm gonna say... Hi Chris! How you doing? Let's say I'm gonna jump right into it, shall I? Let's see. Also, by the way, I have the game set up on my drawing tablet, on my drawing screen. So this way I can actually utilize my pen in order to draw. And I don't have to draw with a mouse or something. <laughs> that would be... Uh, not so great. All of the streamers that I watched have been using their mouse. So... Yeah. <laughs> uh, this game is also very limited in the tools that it's giving to you. But you're gonna see. So... <sighs> I already tested it once, so that's why I have a continue, but of course we're gonna go for the new game. 2% Two pr <laughs> progress, yeah. Hello, freshman. Welcome to art school. My name is Professor Kvartz. I am an advanced neural network trained on over 100,000 teraflops of the greatest art in the world. I will be your faculty advisor this semester. My job is to analyze your work against my vast da database and give you constructive feedback. I was made by scientists, so I am really good at this. Oh, don't worry, it sounds technical, but art school is really simple once you get the hang of it. Just use your drawing pad and complete the assignments I give you. The art school campus here is here to inspire you. It is loaded with some really beautiful scenery. Mm. <laughs> well, I'm sure you're eager to get started. Loading assign... I'm sorry. Your first prompt, drawing clouds. When you have completed the assignment, return to my office for critique. Good luck, Froshman, and once again, welcome to art school. This song is weird. Alright. The song is kinda jarring, I do have to admit, it's 
it's weird it's weird but here we are so I'm just gonna switch back and forth between my wait oh yeah there is no mouse control actually that's right so what do we have here Oop. color swatch nice so I can move this stuff I should be able to resize this too yeah Oh. And so yeah, that's basically the game. You run around, I can infinite jump. And you draw something, and when you're done with the drawing, you go either to this building, I think, or you just drop down the edge of the world. <laughs> and there we go. Throughout the world, there are some tools and colors hidden. You can find them and add them to your repertoire. I don't really have camera controls. I cannot look up and down or anything, but I can change the camera angle, which is at least something. Uh. So, let me see. Let already think, and you can also give me some um, some ideas of what to draw. So the assignment is to draw clouds. Oh, we have text. <laughs> ah. So I'm going to try to not go for the obvious and just draw a bunch of clouds. That would be boring, so let's see with what kind of weird stuff we can come up with. We can also look around and I guess look for inspiration, look at the clouds, see what kind of shapes they give us. I think this is a tool, right? Looks like it a brush of some sort. A thick brush. <laughs> God. Let's see. I'm, I'm gonna look around a bit more and then I'm gonna start... Gonna start drawing. Let us see. The environments are very weird. This... Something... <laughs> I don't know if they're randomized or predefined, but they look very randomized, that's for sure. Also, I wish there would be some kind of running button, but I think there is none. So I just gonna leisurely stroll around the world all the time. But this gives us a lot of time to think about what to draw. So instead of clouds, of just straight up clouds, I'm thinking about drawing something that looks like clouds. Something fluffy. Like a fluffy kitty or something. Um, I don't seem to find any other things. Uh, I think there is something. At the base of this weird building. A paint bucket tool. Oh, nice. That's useful. Paint bucket. So far we only have blue and and black. There's something else. What is this? Is this an eraser? A square brush. Ah, that thing. Well Oh! That was a color. I didn't even think that it was a color. Alright, we got a bunch of things for now. Let's see. Um, one thing I want to 
test is if it scales. Yeah, it does. Well done. Let's see. <laughs> so, hmm. Hmm. Now I wish I had a an eraser so we could use we could have white as color. But hmm. Let me see. Let me oh, there we go. Let's draw him. Let's draw Froshman. With his butt at first. Just sitting on some kind of ledge. Here we have his shirt. It's not gonna look great. It's 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 not pressure sensitive. It doesn't have any stabilization or anything like that. It's it's almost as bad as just straight up Windows Paint. <laughs> but that's what we have. That's what we have to work with. Any points at some thing in the sky, I suppose. Look at this. I can see a kitty. All right, let's see. I should have drawn the whole ground together with him a bit lower. I think that would have been a better... How to say... Better separation of the, of the whole picture, but whatever. As I said, I had to take a break and I've been doing quite a lot of stuff during my break. It wasn't like I've been just completely uh, inactive. I've been doing a lot of cleaning in my apartment, a lot of home improvement, which was also kind of needed to distract my mind from, from the bad news that happened. And it helped a lot. It was really good that I did so. So... I don't even know what that is supposed to be. <laughs> I'm just gonna... Leave it as it is. It's just some w weird face with fluffy ears, I suppose. And here I'm gonna attempt to draw Vulu. But also just for memory, so... I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. Uh, Wulu has the uh, those pigtails, 
So I'm gonna attempt to draw them. And yeah, other than that, I also have been taking care of my of the commission that I'm still working on uh, for a friend. But I'm getting closer and closer to being done, which is nice. Once it's completely done and released, I can also show you what it actually is. So does this look like Vulu? Uh, kinda, I suppose. Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna leave out the legs. And here I'm gonna attempt... I don't know. Hmm. Want, wanted to draw a kitty face, but I, no, I'm not so sure. Because we already have this face. Hmm. We could also look around in the game and see if there's something inspiring us. I don't know. Uh, let's just go with a kitty face. I no, no, it's too easy. Let's go with a castle in the clouds. So, this game, I think, is actually kind of interesting in, in terms of art practice. Because not only does it give you the assignments and it you might draw something you would never come up with otherwise. Um, so you kind of get out of your comfort zone. But also... It has very limited tools, like even more limited than Microsoft Paint, which <laughs> says a lot. Um, and so you gotta think in different terms. You, like I have only three different colors, if I include white as the background and I have four. And so I just have to use those. Like I've been doing the outlines with blue because uh, later I'm going to fill out everything with blue. Um, since uh, the sky is blue, as simple as that. Uh, but also actually, now that I think of it, it, it will give me a problem because his arms. So can I maybe give them some weird outline? And I guess so. <laughs> oh God. Mm. But yeah, <clears throat> drawing programs nowadays give you so many tools and it makes it so easy to draw. Um, and you kind of get spoiled by it, actually. I totally admit that. When I have to go back to using traditional media in order to draw, I absolutely realize how badly I get, like, I'm just used to the 
drawing tools that like the stabilization to be able to draw smoother lines and um, drawing straighter lines with all the rulers um, you can easily adjust colors if you messed up and the undo function you know the undo function ah So yeah, I mean I could also just basically go f uh, with traditional media in order to draw these weird ideas. Um, but it's also kind of different and it's a its own challenge as opposed to make something that looks good in this, you could say program, <laughs> graphics program, this li weird little one. Uh, let's see how it's gonna... Wait, I didn't get the fill bucket. Did I not? Why did I... F no, this is the fill bucket, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. For, for one moment I was a bit... Anyways. Uh, I, I should... Fill out... All right. I'm actually gonna draw the eyes black. Hmm. No. So this the pigtails look a bit weird, but oh well. And yeah. All right, the face needs to be fixed. But other than that, it's... <laughs> I can't expect much more. The perfection is like... Uh, in 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 me is screaming right now. Oh my god, it looks so terrible. There are so many things that bother me. Ah! But... <laughs> you would work endlessly on this if you want to draw something that looks somewhat decent. <laughs> That's not the point. So, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. So, I'm going to... <gasps> the castle looks so great. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I, I tried my best. This is good to hear. Alright then. Let's fall into the abyss. Welcome back, Frushman. Let's take a look at your work. Analyzing... Approach! Hey! It actually complemented my weird approach. The line work was kind of meh. Okay. Composition. Yeah, the composition. As I said before, it could... Um, the ground, together with Froshman himself, could be a bit lower. Uh, I messed up a little bit over there. In colors, well... I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so we got an A. Wonderful. By the way, those... <laughs> As, um, those reports, those grades don't mean anything. <laughs> I think it's just randomized or something. I don't know. Draw molecules! Heck yeah! Well then. Whoa, whoa, okay. So let's look around, see if we find anything else. I would love to have an eraser tool. That would be neat. So here on this level, I don't seem to find anything. But I think sometimes they are inside of things. Can they interact with stuff? I don't think so. Anyways. So I can see something over there, on top of the stairs. Something else somewhere. Hmm. By the way, if you want to draw along, then you're absolutely welcome to do so. Maybe you wanna show... Show me your results, that would be super interesting. Uh, 
Now what is this? Oh, this thing. Eraser! There we go! Exactly what I wished for. I think there's also something. What is this? A mop. It looked like a mop, but it, but it turned out to be an actual mop. Interesting. Uh, what else do we have here? Molecules. Hmm. Molecules. Now drawing straight up molecules would be boring. And drawing them in an accurate way, in order, like in in um, what's called. Because um, electrons and and stuff like that, they are not just going around the 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 core in a set pattern, but they have they are like clouds actually in in clouds that have a certain probability where the electron electron could be in. Uh, it's get kind of kind of kind of complicated but yeah the traditional way to illustrate atoms oops like uh like this here yeah, we have the the core and then the the electrons flying around in this round um orbits What's it called again? It's it's not how it actually works, but instead, I mean, you have, would have the core, um, and then one uh, electron would have could be in this cloud here, and one electron could be in the other cloud, and there is a certain probability, like it's whoop, that was weird. Like there is a high probability that it's somewhere in here and then a lower probability over there and then the, the other way and then there could be another one with small it's 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 very weird but that's how quantum physics work <laughs> uh, but it doesn't make for nice looking art does it ah oh, god oh it doesn't really remember a lot of a lot of steps. Oh, jeez. No, I messed up. Well, I can walk and erase at the same time. I think I see a new color over there. I'm not so sure, but we'll see. Just gotta make sure not to fall off the edge. Otherwise... This weird painting is gonna get submitted. I don't want that. But as I said, if you have some idea... Okay, this was not the color. Some idea already for what to draw for molecules. You can go ahead and draw it yourself and then share it with us later. Like you could maybe pay, uh, post it on in Discord or on Twitter and just share it and I could show it at the end of the stream if you want to or you can also share your idea with with us and maybe I will actually use it so I don't really seem to find anything else around here which is fine I suppose At least one additional color would be nice. But it's not necessary. Okay. I'm just gonna finish up erasing everything and then let's see. I still don't really have a good idea for molecules. What to draw. Hmm. Let's see. <sighs> well then. Hmm. No, molecules. What kind of molecules do we have? Well, what are the most common ones? Like H2O, CO2... Um, 
Hutu. Huh, well, actually let's go for H2O, because the upcoming video series, uh, tutorial series, is gonna be about water. And I'm gonna talk about a lot of um, physics-related stuff about water. Uh, at first about water drops. And one of the things would be um, that, you know, water is... Um, there is something called adhesion, so water molecules attracting each other. And so let's draw a bunch of cute little water molecules that um, uh, that are really into each other, I suppose. <laughs> so how to draw this? Um, I'm gonna s just fill out everything with blue. Are there a, a ton of little fragments? Looks like it. Yeah, just pinned in a little bit here and there to fix it. And then... Hmm. So they, they're having a party. And they all love each other. Uh, the fragments are really bothering me. Colors that that shows actually now look like there are a bunch of little devils <laughs> with round horns, I suppose. But I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna stick to it. Whatever. They're all going to have some different faces. By the way, I have a couple of different ideas, too, for future streams. Well, first of all, the first stream that I did was doing some studies live of an ongoing um, topic that I'm working on. But thinking about it, I'm not so sure if I even want to... Uh, 
I want to keep doing that. The first time I did it, it was kind of, kind of stressful in a way, because when I draw something like that, I want to be like really good at it. I want to have a lot of practice, but I'm still studying, so it's, 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 I don't know. I want to be able to relax, but there are a couple of different ideas that I have. So first of all, here we have already one of those different ideas. <laughs> um, Um, and also, I had the idea to use a color palette ra randomizer and draw stuff with that. Um, so how it would work is that I used that randomizer and set it to give me palettes that have like so and so many colors and that they are um, uh, complementary colors or analogous colors or something like that. <clears throat> and and then I would have to make a painting using only these colors and nothing else. And that's another way to kind of have limited tools and uh, force myself to work with these. Kind of like this game here. Um. And it's a nice practice in order to, you know, be more creative, be more flexible. And think in different ways in, uh, as to how to make um, art. And if I have those limited tools, I cannot really rely on nice looking textures and effects and whatnot in order to make the painting good. But instead I have to rely on form and composition and I'm not the greatest at these things so that would be a nice kind of practice I feel like so this painting here looks a bit empty though I'm gonna add a few extra hearts how about that some hearts of gold or something like that Yeah. Those water molecules love each other. They don't want to be separated. Isn't it nice? Oh yeah, I can give them a bunch of tiny reflections. Hmm, do I want to do that though? I'm not so sure. Maybe it's just over here. Yeah, that works. It looks very janky, but that's okay. I have to keep telling myself that it's okay. So cute. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I need to position myself a bit differently. While I'm streaming, I have to kind of remind myself to always change my sitting position. Otherwise, it gets really hurtful. I keep forgetting it while I'm so focused. Oh well, that's yeah, okay. Alright, uh, I think we're done. Let's not spend too much time on those individual paintings. That's also not the point of it. So once again, we jump off. Oh, or not. 
Well, that's awkward. It's done. There we go. Let's take a look. Again, very good approach, but it didn't like the colors. I suppose it didn't like that the water molecules were kind of looked like little devils. Okay. Also, by the way, I forgot to make a face on this one. All right, well. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Claim a spot on campus as your own. Draw it. All right. Let's see what we can do with that. Let's make this small again. And let's see. Hmm. First of all, I want to look for some extra tools again, some colors that we can use. Is this something? Whoa! I just kicked it away. Alright. <laughs> But an abstract looking art school. <laughs> sure, it surely is. I've never been in an art school, so. I don't know, maybe it looks like that over there. I have no idea. seem to find anything. Is this maybe the same word from before? Am I the whole time in the same area? looks like it okay this isn't anything right it's just a cone yeah well then I'm just gonna get to it and look for a place let's see how about this orange island Dark oranges. I doubt that there are many that many wacky colors. But dropping off floating islands, yeah. Well, oh. I found something without even paying attention. So I get. Was there something? Was there an item here? I didn't even look. Or was it just me walking on top of this square and therefore I'm getting this? What? All right. Uh, whoa! Oh! No! No! Well, actually, it doesn't matter because we haven't drawn anything, so I can just drop off and respawn. A little bit more work. Okay. Oh, weird. Uh, hmm. Maybe I'm gonna stick to this orange island. Dark oranges. Yellow trees. But can we do something else with it too? Add something to it. Because just copying what we see is kind of boring. At least for me. Hmm. What could we add? Let's 
So we have a... I could draw one singular yellow tree that's growing dark oranges. How does this color look on white? Oh, okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's draw... Little hill. Oops. This is not the color of the hill, but of the of the ground here, but I don't care. And then some dark oranges. But yeah, as I said before, I've never been to art school or anything like that. So, all that I'm learning and have learned was self-taught. Um, and I am not the best, like the, the most credible guy to say that thing but i have been hearing a lot of people who did went to art school that it's actually very unnecessary it's you really don't need it barely anybody's asking for your degree um in that field of work like if you want to become a graphic designer or animator or something like that they just want to have a uh, want you to have a good looking portfolio and that's it um and it makes sense to me that it's not really necessary and I never really felt the need to go to art school to university to learn art also, I, I don't really have an interest because I feel like there would be a lot of extra stuff that I just don't care uh, about. Hey, Psycho Fox, nice to see you here. How are you doing? Yeah, I don't really care about, like, um, art history and different uh, traditional artists from the past and. Uh, learning about all of this uh, traditional art styles like pointillism and surrealism and uh, still lives and whatnot and so on and so forth and it's just boring to me that's, that's the kind of stuff that i learned at school at like you know normal school high school and stuff uh, and it was really boring to me it was not interesting at all that's why i got a c grade back then uh in my um, um, back then in art class because I was not never really motivated to do uh, the non-drawing stuff you know when you had to look up 
art history and artists and write about them and it's just uh, I've been so lazy about that <clears throat> ah, that's good psycho fox glad to hear that uh, I'm just gonna submit it I originally wanted to draw Frushman climbing on the tree but then I now realized that uh, I have to use the black color and then it would just merge in and just whatever let's just submit it it doesn't really matter all that much it's let's keep it simple this time all right <gasps> sorry for the burps oh again high approach call um great and better colors this time but still a c <laughs> all right whatever draw something that hasn't been invented yet i saw that prompt in the stream i don't remember what they drew but it's but it was something very clever um i'm not clever so it's gonna be difficult I'm gonna look around a little bit, but I don't think... Um, I haven't been over there in this kind of weird island. Or maybe I can find something. Draw something that hasn't been invented yet. I mean, I could... Draw something that is sci-fi related or fantasy related. But then am I gonna go for something that hasn't been invented yet but could be in the future? Or is just simply impossible? Like time travel to the past. Physically it's impossible. But it hasn't been invented yet because of the because it's <laughs> impossible to invent but still hmm yeah i can't really find anything else it seems all right uh hmm Wait, actually... How about... We draw... Where is this thing? I need... Hmm... Yeah, so... How about... <laughs> oh, oops. We draw... The professor. And then cause it to crash. Because it hasn't been invented yet. There is nothing like a reliable kind of software that can grade your art and grade your line work and composition, anything like that. So, yeah, it hasn't been invented yet. So the professor is a liar. And we're gonna point that out. I'm gonna fill everything in. T 
take that professor for not giving me A's. That's what you get. As a result, you're gonna question your very existence. And I'm gonna draw you derpy, because you deserve it. <laughs> there, you look stupid. And then you have a noise ring. What the... What's even that about, huh? Also, I've seen past versions of the game where the sky has been just noise. Just complete noise, like the ring of the professor. And that would have been just painful to look at. I'm glad they changed it. I'm really glad. So, also, the bitrate of the stream would have been complete crap. It would look so terrible. I think it has this little end there. So I'm gonna include that too. A little bit more and then I'm gonna be done with it. Not gonna spend that much time on you, professor. There we go. Now take that. What are you gonna say about that? Probably give me a C or even an F or something like that. Let's see how mad it will become. Uh huh, uh huh. Alright, you better give me an A grade. You better be thankful to me. To pointing out your lies. You should be honest. Got really cubist with this one. Cubist? Like, racist, but against cubes? Alright. I... Now the professor hates cubes. Wow. Wow. Seriously, professor. Oh my god. I'm not so sure if I want to stay here in art school. But I really need a degree, you know? I need an art degree. For something. Oh, Hoko, there you are. Call it a kitty kitty meow meow. Ooh. <sighs> Let's draw something cubist. <sighs> I'm gonna draw Professor again. Uh, no. <laughs> Pfft. 
Electro or something Cubist. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna draw a bunch of shapes. And the cube is just gonna be crossed out. So, what kind of shapes do we have? Well, first of all, we have... A sphere... Hoko, come on. Get up there again. Come, come, there. And actually, let me... Draw it like this. To have something cleaner. Then let's draw a cone. But yeah, as I mentioned before, I don't think that going to art school is really necessary. First of all, because there are so many materials out there that you can use in order to, to learn art. For free, even. And I am currently making stuff for people to learn art for free, so yeah. <laughs> uh... And where would where did you want to go? Yeah. Also, um, if you live in a country where going to university to college or whatever is really expensive, then it's especially not really a good idea uh, because like paying tens or even over hundred thousand of dollars or whatever currency you have. Uh, to go to art school and then you can't really do anything with the degree it's just ugh. if if it would be for free if you can get that education for free then go for it i suppose if you also want to learn that other stuff that they teach you i personally don't really have an interest in it but um i mean other people do and that's totally fine Um, same with music, yeah. It's about practice and effort and having a degree, absolutely. And who is asking you for music degree? Now, school is a good place to learn a lot of basics and you have teachers. And it's, it's also the thing, um, it depends on the individual. Because some people are really good at learning by themselves. Um... It doesn't mean that they are better at learning, I have to point out. Uh, like, they are not better in any sort of way, uh, necessarily, but... Yeah, they, they just like to learn on their own pace. And I am kind of like that. Um, but others... Uh, really benefit from having a teacher of some sort or, or going to a class and for those people it makes sense um. So yeah, you, if you want to go to art school, you have to consi consider a lot of factors, but I don't think you necessarily need to go to art school in order to become an artist. 
even if you want to go into in the industry in the animation industry or graphic design or anything like that it's not really necessary um, and if you don't really believe me then believe the other people who did went to art school and say the very same thing of which there are plenty Uh, why can't I think of a fifth shape? Come on, dude. Something that isn't like super complicated. <laughs> uh, let's just go for... Oops. Pyramid shape. Yeah, <laughs> you called it. Tetragon. Well, I'm already going for the pyramid. Well then, and then... We're gonna... Cross it out. No cubes allowed, because we're cubist. Go away, cubes, with your six sides that are equally sized. Uh, yeah, take that. Freaking cubes. <laughs> All right. Cubist scum that we are. We fall off the cliff now. There we go. Let's take a look at your work. Approach. Of course you give me a great A. Because you're cubist yourself. So of course you, uh, you appreciate that kind of art. Eh? Draw something to commemorate... An upcoming holiday. Uh, now, here is the thing. Since I work from home and barely go outside other than like buy groceries, most of the time I have not really any idea what the holidays are and when they are. I know what they are, but I mean when they are, that is. So it happens often that I go outside and want to buy groceries or something like that. Just to notice that the shops are closed because I didn't realize, oh, it's uh, some Christian holiday. And yeah. Uh, so what? It's in the middle of summer, so there are not really any holidays, I think. What is there? I'm gonna look into my calendar. <laughs> because I really can't think of anything. Uh, let's see. What is there? In this month, at least here in Austria, there's nothing. Jul for July. Oh, in August we have the Assumption of Mary. Great. Uh -huh. How fun to draw. Assumption of Mary. Let's Google it. Maybe I can f think of something. Uh, Mai says, I can relate. I moved to Japan this year and being unaware of Japanese holidays, my rare plans to eat out have required adjustments. I see. <laughs> Uh, yeah, J Japan has also very different kind of um, holidays. 
I used to keep track of those two because um, in the past I have been doing language exchange uh, with Japanese people, which was really fun and uh, very helpful for me to get more practice uh, with my Japanese. And we had a schedule, like a, a video call schedule. So every week on a specific day, a day at a specific time, we call and and um, do our practices. And there were several different things that we did. Um, uh, and I also had to t keep track of the Japanese holidays. So I know, like, oh, on these days, they have free, or like they have it's very common that they do something and they're on these days you would normally not have time or it just is a an interesting topic to talk about during our language practices uh, yeah Japanese food is great oh my god Japanese Japanese food is my absolute favorite um, it was like okay, I've I went to Japan a couple of years ago um, for one and a half months and was great. And one of the most memorable things were, was the food. <laughs> oh, it was great. Um, let's let's think about what to draw. Assumption of Mary. I, don't, I just really don't like that. Let's see what else is coming up. Okay, then we have... September, which is Yom Kippur. Now, that's not really an Austrian holiday, but uh, specific religious. But I mean, all of the other. Is Yom Kippur like an actual holiday where shops have closed? I don't think so. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Daylight saving time ends. Yeah. What a great holiday. And we have the national holiday. Reformation Day, All Saints Day. Uh... You know what? I'm just gonna go for Halloween. <laughs> for me, that's the actual upcoming, the next upcoming holiday that I somewhat care about. It's not really holiday, but like a holiday season, and we don't re really celebrate it that much here in Austria. But whatever. Or or maybe let's actually see. No, no, no. I think in my calendar, yeah, I still have the holidays of Japan that I can activate. Okay, so the next one would be the Sea Day. Oh, that's more interesting. Yeah, and right after that, as you said uh, in the chat, Mai, is the sports day. One day after that. <laughs> Halloween, yay! Golden week was an interesting exper experience, considering the state of the world right now. Oh. Oh, how was it for you? Uh, golden week. That's normally the day when... Japanese people go out and have some kind of holidays like they go some places But I don't like is there a specific tradition? Like a specific thing to do during the golden week? I can't s remember Hmm, but sea day and sports day we could combine that maybe also together with Halloween. Why not? <laughs> Let's see Hmm. Hmm. Sea day, sports day. I mean, the obvious combination of that would be swimming and sailing and stuff like that. Hmm. But instead of... Yeah, but we could also bring in some Halloween aspects. So... Well, at first let's draw some water. Yeah. 
<laughs> that tool is actually quite useful for this purpose. Oops. Mai says, well, I don't know what specific things there are. There were mochi snacks for children's day in all of the stores, and I heard there would normally be a sort of festival. I see at the local lake near where I live. Ah. Ghost pirates. Hmm, yeah. That's also a nice idea. Some skeletons that swim around, maybe? Instead of Golden Week this year, uh, Japan called it Stay Home Week. <laughs> I mean, it's not really laughable, but still, it's 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 a good thing that I mean the Japanese have been very good at you know staying at home and keeping distance and social distancing and wearing the masks. It was very uh, uh, admirable. Recommendable, whatever the word is. Some other people around the world should take uh, take the Japanese as an example. Uh, well then, my idea would be first of all to have some kind of pumpkin sailing boat now we only have that yellow color but uh, there are yellow pumpkins it doesn't have to <gasps> sorry again so burpy it doesn't have to be orange I have no idea how this is gonna turn out, but we'll see. This is Halloween, we have some messed up looking sails. Or let's maybe. Oh, no, no. Hmm. Don't ask me how it's still sailing, it somehow does. It's Halloween magic. Also, I don't really know how sailing boats are constructed, so yeah, it's just gonna look very simple. It's whatever. No, I'm gonna make them completely black. Nope. Ah, uh, oops. Uh, my says, the downside is, as a newbie to Japanese culture, I wanted to explore and such, but it's not a really ideal thing to do when Alton's summer break is coming soon. I have no plans. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. It really sucks. Man, just imagine if I went to Japan and while I was there, um, the pandem pandemic broke out and I can't go anywhere. That would have sucked so much. <sighs> Chiba. In the countryside. Oh, nice. And back then when I went to Japan, uh, the cities were interesting, nice and everything, but I especially uh, really like the countryside. 
they have some really nice nature over there and yeah just in general i i liked it like to go places where the tourists normally don't go uh hmm well, i'm gonna try to draw a little skelly man But the, the brush is too, too thick. Maybe I should like separate the shapes into smaller ones. There we go, that's a skeleton. That's like really hard to tell that those are supposed to be skeletons. Oh man. But whatever. Let me make the head a little bit bigger. I don't know. It's it's beautiful in Chiba. Oh, I totally believe that. I like going on my morning walks around the neighborhood and taking pictures of all the different flowers I come across. Oh, that sounds lovely. The cherry blossoms when they bloomed. It passed now, right? Yeah, the cherry blossoms are over already. Like, long over. Like, they normally bloom during April, I think. At least here in Austria. I think in Japan, it's a bit earlier or is later I don't know uh, but normally during the springtime mm. oh yeah <laughs> Maya had already said it I should read before I say something <laughs> love the skeleton oh, that's good <laughs> that's good to hear I, I mean I could just the size of the shapes a little bit with the brush here But I don't know. Still pretty nice. That's good to hear. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else. Let's draw a little sun because why not? Let's make it. Super obvious. Oops. Uh, a skeleton really be able to swim I think bones float right bones are, are actually not that dense they are very porous this is that the word in English uh, like they have a lot of like if you take a closer look at bones they're kind of like net sh form net like Web, web is the word, net, not net, web. Uh, don't really have a, any idea what time of the year it is, it's all blurring together. Same here, but to be honest, it also kind of has been the, 
that way before the pandemic. <laughs> well, let's let's just submit it. Let's go. I'm not all that proud of this one. Eh, but it's okay. Kitty! Yeah, kitty! Wow! Kitty blesses us. We only got the C rank, but that's okay. Make a portrait of someone not wearing the glasses. Well... The assignment doesn't tell us that it has to be somebody who normally wears glasses. So it could be anybody. Oh cool. Come here. Oh, look, look. Brushy. Brushy. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> Ooh. Velma Dinkley. Uh who was it again from from Scooby Doo? There's a Velma in Scooby Doo as far as I remember, but I don't know the last names. Yes, I was correct. Oh cool. We just want the brushes, huh? You don't want to stay over here? Oh. <laughs> Somebody not wearing the glasses. I could draw Velma. I says anyway I should get back to bed from working in the morning I just turned on YouTube to uh, produce some white noise and happened to see the stream up oh it's pretty late over there yeah that's right Japan is ahead of my time zone well then go to bed get some good rest it's nice to chat with you And now you're staying here, Hoko? Nice. You're looking extra pretty. Yes. Pretty kitty. Good night. Uh, so, well done. So, as we said, I could draw Velma. For that, I do need a reference. <gasps> so burpy. <laughs> hmm. Kind of a sassy look.
Now what hair color? That's the question. Hmm, I guess I can give her purple. I will also make her skirt purple. idea if she's going to be recognizable. We'll see. But once again, it's a challenge. That's what it's all about. The eraser is a bit too thick. Hmm. Oh well. Then... The sweater at least... is orange, so our yellow gets pretty close. Now my idea is that she is holding a kitty and the kitty is wearing the glasses. <laughs> Let's give her a blue kitty because why not? So we have Ah, uh, no. Hmm. Let us start with the face.
And after all, I'm gonna go for a black kitty. At least with black outlines, but white kitty normally. Whoops. Don't. Ah. Then the paws, the little kitty legs, stretched out like that. Oops. <laughs> oh, kitty, just hanging there. Ooh, there's another kitty, so pretty. <laughs> it looks so silly. And that's why I like it. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
<laughs> Let's think, can I improve it somehow? the skirt here or is it too high mm. no oh haven't filled in this yet oops With that I can give the hair a bit extra form. Like so. You can make sharp corners and stuff like that uh, with using the erase tool. But it's not that easy, like you can go ahead and you cannot really adjust the, the thickness of the line. But with the erase tool you can like make sharpen it in a way. And that's a method. Um but yeah, I think well actually let me <laughs> look so funny. Pretty chill, kitty. <laughs> All right, I think we are done. Yeah, let's throw ourselves off the cliff once again. And here we have Velma. Velma Dinkley. With purple hair. And a kitty. Who wears her? What do you mean by approach? The heck? Okay, line work, I do say yes. I gave my best and appreciate the high score. But did you criticize my approach? And it's not like you just criticize me, but also the person who came up with the idea of, of drawing Velma, so. Heck you twice. Combine two shapes to make a new shape. Alright. Well, we're still in the same world, right? There hasn't really anything changed. Hmm. Doesn't seem like it.
Ne. Well, anyways. Combine two shapes to make a new shape. Two shapes. Make a new shape. Hmm. What should I go for? Oh, kidding, yeah. You're so floof. Boop. Boop, isn't it? Hmm. What should I go for? Again, I don't want it to be too boring or anything. So, hmm. Kitty, you're so sweet. Hmm, let me actually go for a forbidden shape because we're cubist around here. So, So guess what you would get by combining those two shapes? Something forbidden. Something not allowed in the cubist world. Forbidden figure. <gasps> How dare I?
Well, we'll see if I get into trouble or not. Probably I get a bad grade. If the professor is smart enough to figure this little puzzle out. Let's see. Well, looks simple, but nice. Alright. Oh, actually, 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 I made a mistake. Made a mistake. One that I cannot stand because this is not a straight line up, but tilted line. to jump and draw at the same time. Uh, I can do it. Alright, I think this is fine now. Alright. Okay. Let's fall. Well, Professor. Uh-huh. I thought so. I thought so that you wouldn't give me an A grade, simply because you're cubist. Tch. Typical. Draw Professor Quartz. Alright, we already did that. But okay, now let's see. Let's make him upset, really upset. Look, Professor, how I draw you. Yeah, absolutely. So full of himself. Or itself. There. What do you think about that, huh? We draw on as the thing you hate the most. And you know what? You look good this way. You look great this way. You should realize that. That cubes are beautiful. All shapes are beautiful. I'm gonna lose my scholarship if I <laughs> keep doing this madness. Well, you know, sometimes you just have to stand up to this nonsense and just not take it anymore. I'm gonna get to the dean's office. Well, if it happens, it happens. We already talked about that. Having an art degree is not really that important. So if I lose my scholarship, 
Who cares? Who cares? I'm gonna include all of these drawings in the thumbnail and people who haven't seen the stream, they must be so confused. <laughs> what the heck have I been doing? Oops. Sometimes it does this weird bug. Okay, there we go. Oh well. Alright, Professor. What do you say about that? Anything is allowed in art. Well, okay, I'm lying. Not really anything is allowed. But still. This should be totally allowed. That's my point. Oh! Would you look at that? The professor is learning. We've opened its eyes. Its eyes to the cube world. And its beauty. We did good work. Draw the horizon. Just like your horizon that has been widened just now, huh? Wonderful. The Horizon logo. <laughs> Yay, I ended Cubism. At least for the professor. Cubism, unfortunately, is still a problem around the world. But we gotta keep on the fight. In order to establish equality among all shapes. Equal, equal rights for all the shapes. All shapes matter. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, draw the horizon. Draw the horizon. I think I have an idea. Because you know... In the horizon... There are many different shapes. We've got... Rectangles. Got spheres or circles because you know we don't discriminate against shapes and we also don't discriminate against different dimensions two dimensions, three dimensions, one dimension, four dimensions, whatever it is, doesn't matter. You have to go, but it was fun. 
Thanks for streaming. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with us. And have a good day. It doesn't have to be the normal geometric shapes that you normally see, it can be something completely weird. Like, what the heck is this? I don't know. But it's still beautiful. Here we have a hexagon. Or DNA shaped. Whatever it is. There. Simple but beautiful. I'm done. B rank. Professor, you still have some work to do, but oh well. Draw blobs. Well, at least Professor isn't blobist. <laughs> Man, I'm getting ridiculous. Yeah, I think. Exploring doesn't do anything. I think we have most of the stuff that we can find here. Well, probably not, but also I'm too lazy to look around. We found the most of the important stuff. And I would say maybe this is the last assignment that I'm gonna do. So, blobs. Hmm. And there are different kinds of blobs, so... I'm gonna use references for this. And draw blob-like... People, uh, not people, um, beings from different games. What's the next tutorial? This Saturday. It's already done and scheduled. So, yeah. Hope you're gonna like it. It's gonna be about water drops. And it's quite different from what I usually draw and made tutorials of. A lot of science facts in it too, but I think it's interesting, but, well. Alright then. First off, I want to have some blobs from the game Slime Rancher. Because this game is all about blobs. <laughs> uh, which one are, are we gonna do? Now here's the problem that we don't really have many colors. I really wish... We had more colors, but also at the same time, I know that there aren't many additional colors. Like, I think there's just simply another shade of purple. Like this here, just a brighter purple. And, um... Like, I think 
the colors that you can get are just simply the colors that are here around the world. So, yeah. Bah. Well, maybe if I stream this game again, what I could do is try to explore beforehand and see if I can find more tools. But oh well, not for now. We have what we have. So, blobs. Let's fill out everything with this color this time. The professor has a problem with colors too. Hmm, could be. Who knows? Maybe the professor is colorist too. <laughs> I think colorist is an actual, <laughs> an actual word for somebody who like colors things, something, right? I don't know. Anyways, uh. Yeah, maybe, maybe I'm right. Nice, should be further apart. Yeah, this looks cuter. Oops, let's do this. Then... We have the slime oops, from Dragon Quest. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> 
Ditto is also a good idea, yes. Very good idea. Fortunately, I don't have pink, but the purple works also fine. Uh, let's actually make the slime a bit smaller so that I have more space. Close the gap. All right. Hey there, the Graphite Grappler. Welcome. How are you doing? Doing good? That's great. I'm also doing good. Thank you for asking. There's normally supposed to be a kitty here, but the kitty is over there. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry that you cannot see the kitty. Alright, let's draw a ditto. Ditto should be simple enough, but just to be sure, I'm gonna look at the reference after all <laughs> yep there is a kitty over there uh, she's sleeping right now, so I probably can't call her. You just gotta believe me. <laughs> there. Ditto. <laughs> Barely could be even, <laughs> barely could be simpler. Okay, and a third one. <laughs> so I'm thinking about the. Uh, what are called the slime enemies from Zelda? Your favorite blob, yay! Those uh, choo choos, that's where the name, yeah. Choo choo. Um, hmm, maybe let's go for those from Wind Waker. They have a, a cute shape. <laughs> uh, 
Let's go for purple, maybe. They have weird eyes. Freaky looking eyes. It's hard to find really good art tree art streams on YouTube. This is good. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. This is kind of unusual. Uh, the first time that I'm playing this game, but I'm enjoying it. I'm glad that you like what you're seeing. <laughs> Alright then. Um... Nah. Let's go for yellow maybe. I don't really have any idea um, how many art streams there are on YouTube and the art community on here. Because when I watch streams, I normally do that on Twitch. And I know that there are very good artists over there. Um, so yeah. Looks weird. <laughs> you don't have a Twitch account. That's okay. I'm just saying. I'm sure that there are some other good art streams on YouTube, but I think YouTube is not really the greatest in order to find them, because I don't really have any good categories for art streams. I can go for how to and style or gaming or stuff like that, like for this stream I have gaming as category. And then there's how to and style and then maybe there's education that I could go for, but there's not sim anything that like isolates art stream drawing stream or stuff like that while well, on twitch you do have that you have art streams music streams and creative and whatnot so i wish youtube had a better category system but oh well but well oh hmm huh? Still have to add some reflections here and there. And there we go. We're done. Where's where's the abyss? There we go. Woo! Ah, god damn it. That was fun. <laughs> Professor, you have no idea about art. We just don't. <sighs> Alright. Well, I think that's where I'm gonna stop for today. It was two and a half hours. We got 11 assignments done. I don't even remember drawing 11 different drawings. But apparently I did. <laughs> and it has been a lot of fun. I might stream this game again. 
<laughs> See, what? That's, yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh, well. Um, yeah. Next time when I stream will be probably something different. I've been talking about some ideas. Yeah, some other ideas that I had was I could also do animation um, streams to add more animations to my tutorial show. Um, because I've been feeling for a while that, you know, I've been wanting to give the little mink some extra emotions to show during the, during the videos, but I just don't have them. Like, being, like, um, confused or, um, kind of, uh, like, judging, you know, like I'm doing something stupid and <laughs> the little mink is judging me, or stuff like that. I want... I would like to have that, but I just don't. Uh, and yeah, I could make these animations live on stream. That would be an idea. And yeah, many other things that come to mind, but I'm not still not so sure about. But yeah. It was a lot of fun. Thank you a lot for hanging out with me. Um... So as I said, the next tutorial is going to be on Saturday about water drops. I'm very excited about this and I'm very curious what you will think of it, if you're gonna like it or not, because it's gonna be quite different. <laughs> so, ah, sorry, I'm sniffly. Um, and yeah, I'm getting... I'm getting back into it. I'm gonna be more active again, which is nice. Um, then also, I've, I'm thinking about maybe at some point starting with gaming streams. With gaming streams that don't mean art-related games, but like retro games, games that I know, um, normal games, you know. But those would be only on Twitch, because I want to keep my YouTube channel just about art. I don't want to uh, spam people who are not interested in game stuff. So that will be only on Twitch. So if you're interested in that, then you can follow me on Twitch if you have an account. If not, then it's totally fine. I'm just... You know, I'm just trying to plug myself here, and I'm terrible at this, but oh well. And I hope that... Uh, yeah, Nightbot is not working, of course not. Uh, so I'm gonna just post the link... ...manually. And now you're working, just right when I post the link myself. Ah, goddammit. Nightbot is so weird on YouTube. On the, on the Twitch side, it just didn't work at all. Oh yeah, so by the way, actually, I'm streaming to both YouTube and Twitch. So if you have a Twitch account on you, if you do um, prefer Twitch, you can actually watch my also my art streams over there. But uh, as I'm saying, I might do some game streams and those will be exclusive to Twitch. Yeah, and other than that, um, you can join the Discord. All of the links are down below. You can follow me on social media stuff, you know, the usual Twitter and so on. And yeah, I wish you a wonderful day slash night and see you next time. Bye bye.